Okay. So let's let's investigate what this formula really means. Physical meaning. To understand the physical meaning of this driving point impedance, the best way is to draw the driving point impedance with respect to KL. Okay, so let's draw the driving point impedance with respect to KL. Zm0. And I would like to normalize this driving point impedance with this rho L C S uh, and J. Just to want to see the magnitude because there's only phase difference of pi over two or J. So essentially, draw, uh, drawing cotangent K L. Okay. So, what is the value of cotangent KL at pi? The cotangent KL is the inversion of tangent KL, and everybody knows the value at tangent pi. What is tangent pi? Hmm? Zero? Zero. We must believe him, right? <laughs> so pi at pi, we have a zero. What about the cotangent zero? Zero? Confusing? Infinity. Hmm? Is it true? What about the cotangent pi over 2? Zero. So this curve must go like this. And somebody said cotangent pi is zero. Did you say cotangent pi is zero? No, tangent pi is zero. So cotangent pi can be either minus infinity or plus infinity, and turns out to be this is minus infinity. And I, we have pi of uh, 2, 3, and 2 pi, and we have this kind of curve. Okay. And what does this curve really mean? What happens when KL is small in this region? When KL is small, tangent KL is KL. Therefore, cotangent KL is one over KL. Okay? So I can write behave as if KL over here. What does it mean? This means that this means what? When I oscillate with the frequency, low frequency, in other words, long wavelengths, the wavelength is large, Okay. Then it is dominated by because omega is very small. Therefore, what I feel it it is like I am oscillating taught the string. In other words, the string is pretty much dominated by TL. So, it's a string 
terminated at x equals 0, and uh, there is a tension TL, and I am oscillating with very small frequency, and then what it look like? I am, this is sort of static motion, right? Static motion. So that's what happened over here. Static motion. It's like I am oscillating the tree like this. So that is pretty much dominated by TL. Okay. So what happened over here when KL is pi over 2? This is the case when if I change k to 2 pi over lambda, then it's lambda pi over 2. Then what I have is lambda is equal to 4L. Right? If the lambda is a 4L, that means there's a string, okay, but the wavelengths should be quarter wavelength. Yeah, quarter wavelength. What about the over here? In this circumstances, the wavelengths should be half wavelengths. Okay? And the impedance at this point is infinity, meaning that I need, I mean, infinity means that it's, it's not easy to move the point because driving point impedance is infinity means the velocity is zero. So at this point, we have nodal point or nodal point excitation case. In his, this case, we have antinode. Okay. What happened over here? We have wave that look like look like look like this one half wavelength and a quarter wavelength, and so on and so on, right? So this indicates that driving, by just looking at the driving point impedance, the impedance, driving point impedance, is really changing with respect to KL, and I can argue that now the KL is a measure of waves that is possible in finite string. Okay? Then what would happen if we have something like this? If I excite the string, what happens? Then the driving point impedance is somehow between this and this. Okay? In other words, the general case, the driving point impedance has a real part and imaginary part. In general case. Okay? 